All right, Johnny Wonder Callaway Golf. I'm here at the Ely Callaway Performance Center, and today we are talking golf balls, specifically the Chrome Soft family of golf balls. So let's just start here. What makes them all similar? We have Chrome Soft in the red box. We have Chrome Soft X in the black box, and we have Chrome Soft X LS. There is a lot of similarities in this golf balls, but there's four main ones that I want to point out to you. One is hex aerodynamics. That's what makes these golf balls excellent into the wind and into a crosswind. When I'm talking to the tour players out on the truck, they all talk about how good these balls are into the wind. The second thing is a soft urethane tour cover. The third thing is, is they're all being played on all the major tours across the world. And they're all available in yellow and they're all available with triple track. So that's what makes them all tie together but we want to find out what separates and what golf ball in this Chrome Soft family is for you. So I got my friend Garrett Pond here. Garrett, what's going on? Johnny, welcome back. Well, it's good, good to be back. Um, so if we're testing golf balls, if we're trying to separate golf balls, what's the best way to do it? Well, you got to try them first of all, right? right? So the best way to try the three different golf balls is to simulate the three most common shots that we're, we're hitting on the golf course. So you got to hit them with the driver, you got to hit them with an iron, and you got to see how they perform with the wedges and see how they differentiate from one another okay. and, and then we can start to uh, decide which one's best for a player. So let's get into it. Let's start hitting some shots. Where are we starting? Let's go with the wedge first and uh, we'll kind of go from softest to firmest, I guess if you could say that. Makes sense Start to with me. the chrome soft. All right, let's hit some shots. Okay, Garrett, we're going to hit some... Uh, yeah, give me like a three-quarter shot. Okay. Just start hitting. Yep. Okay. Good start. Okay. Okay, let me give it a little wipe. Got to have clean grooves. Yeah, anytime you're testing, <laughs> whether it's testing irons or testing golf balls, the cleaner the grooves, the better. Okay. You're not going to hit a shot on the course with dirty grooves, so can't test that way either. So it's a good test. We're hitting three with each. That'll give us a nice little uh, sample size. Beautiful. Okay, Johnny, so we've got three well-struck wedge shots, about three-quarter swings there, 31-degree launch angle on average there, and about a 9,000 RPMs of spin, which uh, a lot of players would look at those numbers and say, that's fantastic. That's going to come in and have a lot of bite on it. If you wanted to see the ball flight even lower, uh, meaning the launch angle a little bit lower, which a lot of better players like to see their right. three-quarter shots come in much lower, um, that would be something to look at the Chrome Soft X for. So okay. we'll see if the launch angle comes down and then see how the spin compares as well. So same test here, new ball. Same test, new ball. All right, here we go. Chrome Soft X. Okay, okay. clean that up a little bit. Let's get one more. Here's a good one. All right, Johnny, right on cue there, a little bit lower trajectory. You can kind of see that visually yep. um, without the, the launch monitor telling us that's coming out a little bit lower. Um, we were at 31 degree launch angle. That was 27 okay. on those last well, couple. Oh, it really came down. Yeah, okay. so a little bit lower launch angle, spin rate up about 100 or 200 RPMs there into the low 9,000s. But the biggest difference, what we saw there coming in with a lower, lower launch angle. So if you want to see the ball flighted down, you're certainly getting that. And then the ball also jumped off the face a hair faster as well. Okay. So not a bit a significant distance there or difference, but that was a measurable slight increase in speed there. From so the, the two biggest deck. things are it came out lower with more spin. Yeah, and and lower with more spin and Chrome Soft higher with less spin. That's kind of the recipe for more distance too, which you're not necessarily looking for that with the wedge. That comes a little bit more into play with some of the longer clubs. Gotcha. Okay. So Chrome Soft X, low spin here. So what I'm looking to see with this golf ball or what better players tend to like about this golf ball, similar low launch of the Chrome Soft X. Okay. Little less spin, a little bit more distance. And what we're trying to do as much as possible with a ball like this, Johnny, is maintain spin with this wedge shot and decrease it by the time we get to some of the longer clubs so that the irons are either more efficient for distance uh, or more efficient for uh, driver off the tee for distance. Well, it's funny, some of the guys on tour told me about, they were actually surprised how well this golf ball performs around the greens. As a low spin golf ball, they actually really like this thing around the greens. Yeah, the low spin part is a, is a lot more of a reference to off the tee and maybe with hybrids, long irons for those players. And 
you know, you still get the great green side spin control that Chrome Soft X is, is known for. Right. Okay, that was Chrome Soft X low spin with a wedge, uh, launch angle closer to what the Chrome Soft was, so it didn't launch way low. Right. Spin a little bit low, lower than the Chrome Soft X as well. So it's kind of in between what we saw from the other two golf balls. It's it's um, fractionally lower launch than Chrome Soft actually lower spin than Chrome Soft X. So, so it probably kinda, can fall, falls in the middle. Yeah, so if you still wanted a ball, you said maximum spin around the greens, that ball still got a chance to, to end up in your bag because it's still spinning in a range that you'd feel like you got a lot of control with, with a wedge. The question would be, does it benefit you more with the long irons uh, or the driver? Right. Which we'll find That's out That's the fun thing about doing this, right? Now you just test it and, and poking them, right? That's right, so moving on in the test, we got to get to some mid iron shots okay. where the golf balls will often start to differentiate themselves pretty uh, significantly. We'll hit the chrome soft first again, six iron shots, and we'll hit some full shots here. Okay. Okay, those were six irons with chrome soft. Launch angle, six, 16 degrees, spin rate, 43, 4,400. It's okay. a little on the low side for spin, right. which is great for distance, and it's uh, kind of a hidden benefit. It's great for forgiveness. The, the lower the spin, the straighter these, uh, these shots are going to fly. Right. So anyone that says, I don't want to work the ball as much, potentially the Chrome Soft uh, is great for that because it's going to spin a little bit less, fly a little bit straighter, and also go a little bit farther. Well, you can you still have, you know, like we saw with the wedges, pretty good spin with the with the wedge. Right. Starting to be a little bit lower with these mid irons. Better for distance. Better for for forgiveness or or, or straighter trajectories. Right. And you can see it with your eye too. You can see the ball just kind of holding. It its didn't line, move so. very much, did it? Okay. So, so moving back to the Chrome Soft X. All right. We want to see if the ball spins a little bit more and launches a little bit lower like we saw with the wedge. Okay. So the other thing that starts to stand out, Johnny, with these balls, with the longer clubs, as players start to differentiate themselves in, in speed categories, right. you know, you're at a higher swing speed than a lot of players. The Chrome Soft X usually is a little bit faster off the face than the than the softer golf balls. Yeah, the cool thing is, you know, out on tour, the black box is the ones that are flying off the shelves. It's like the legit black box that you see in the store, right? Like that's uh Yeah, it's the same ball you could buy is the same ball that most of our players are playing right now. Nice hit there. All right, so I mentioned with the the longer clubs, mid irons, full shots. That's where the balls start to dif start differentiating themselves quite a bit. Right. Spin is up 900 RPMs from the Chrome Soft. Ball wow. speed's a little bit faster too. And I mentioned at higher swing speeds, the slightly firmer Chrome Soft to X will often take off faster. We'll often see the slower swing speed crowd. Anyone using a lady shaft, light flex, even into the regular flex, um, those swing speed types will, can sometimes see the, the opposite. So the softer ball compresses easier, jumps off the face faster. At higher speeds, like we're seeing with you, firmer ball, more ball speed, and uh, you're getting more spin as well. So if you wanted to have the ball be able to uh, curve easier, the Chrome Soft X would certainly That's give you that, okay. that opportunity. So now we're going to the LS. So Chrome Soft X LS. Okay. And on this one, compared to the Chrome Soft X that you just hit, we're used to seeing the spin get reduced you know, anywhere from four to 600 at, okay. at higher swing speeds like you've got. Okay. Yet maintain the fast ball speed that we get out of the Chrome Soft X. Gotcha. All right. It definitely came off lower than that, than the X for the same strike, right? Yeah, and what you're seeing there is not necessarily uh, an initial launch angle that's much lower, it's just the spin is lower, so the apex of the shot's a little, a little bit flatter, and the trajectory overall looks a little bit more penetrating. Okay, hit one more. So again, you were in the low 5,000s uh, with the Chrome Soft X, now you're in the upper 4,000s. Wow. So uh, uh, through 400 RPM difference so far. 
Here's a good one. Okay, so the final ball, Chrome Soft X LS with the irons. For you, 300, 350 RPMs less spin than the Chrome Soft X. Okay. So for players um, that are really high spin with their irons and they feel like they balloon the ball or it's a little tough to control into the wind. That's a good ball. You get a few hundred RPMs less with the iron shots, but the ball's really, really good for high speed players as well. If we see a lower head speed player that wants uh, that golf ball, which is certainly a possibility, they get the lower trajectory with the wedges, a lot of spin, and then they get some of the lower spin and distance benefits that the Chrome Soft might give them as well. So okay. it all kind of depends a little bit on someone's speed and what they're looking for throughout the various shots that they're gonna encounter on the course. Gotcha, okay. So where are we, where are we going next? All right, so next we wanna go back to Chrome Soft. We'll go to that go to the big uh, stick. first and we'll see what they do with the driver. Okay, so I'll give you this. We'll do the switcheroo. Trade you. Yep. You got a T on you? I got a T. I always have T's in my pocket, Garrett. Okay, here we go. All right, so the softest golf ball here of the three, Chrome Soft. Okay. Compresses really easy and kind of one of the hinted benefits, we mentioned it a little bit relating to spin on the irons. With the driver, you get a lot of forgiveness out of a softer golf ball. So if you hit a, a an off-center strike on the heel or toe and the golf ball compresses a little bit more, it's gonna put less force on the corner of the driver and make the head not twist as much. So you can potentially see the ball fly a little bit straighter on miss hits just because of the, the construction of the golf ball that way. So okay. I don't know that golf balls get talked about their forgiveness level enough, but there's certainly a component there with the Chrome Soft. Well, it so, should be because it's the most important thing in your bag, right? It's, I mean, it's the thing that you're you, hitting. You hit it on every it's shot. Every, it's involved in every conversation. All right, three well-struck chrome soft shots with the driver, 12 and a half launch and pretty low spin. That was under 2000 RPMs of spin, okay. around 1700. So if you Ooh. loved what you saw with that, that golf ball with the irons, meaning a little bit higher launch, straighter shots, more carry as a result, right. and um, soft feel, a lot of spin, higher trajectory with the wedges, you would need to kind of tune your driver to fit the golf ball to it which would uh, entail a little bit more loft on it so that the ball had a little bit more carry. If you uh, wanted to see more spin out of the driver without needing to put more loft on it, we would wanna see if the Chrome Soft X is something that brings the, the spin up, thus the carry a little bit farther, and then we wanna see how the ball speed compares with that, gotcha, that, okay. that uh, ball as well. All right, so there's the Chrome Soft X. Chrome Soft X, white T, here we go. I mean, it's already, you can just tell it's already higher. Okay. I feel like one of the guys on the range of the tour event, Caddy throwing his ball. Yeah. This is you get the full experience this here, This is man. official. All right, so that was three with the Chrome Soft X. As a comparison to Chrome Soft, similar ball speeds. Now you're at a swing speed right around 101, 102 today, um, which is a, a swing speed where we'll often see the ball speeds comparable. Right. And then the differences between the two balls, we talked about forgiveness uh, and I mentioned spin, that's where they start to differentiate off the tee. If we get a, a high speed tour player that's swinging 125, ball speed starts to become a difference. Right. Or as I mentioned with the irons as we, uh, um, or earlier with the driver on the chrome soft, if we get a lower head speed, someone swinging 75, you start to see the ball speed differentiate between the two. But at your speed, exact same ball speed, launch angle almost comparable as well, around 13 with both, 12 and a half, 13 spin and you can see the ball say on a little bit flatter trajectory right um, longer that's because there's a little bit more spin you get a little more lift throughout the flight carried farther as a result and still got a similar amount of roll okay. than we were getting with the uh, the chrome soft so you hit the chrome soft x 
a hair farther because it stayed in the air longer. It's got more lift, yeah. So if you didn't want to change the loft on your driver to try and optimize the Chrome Soft golf ball, the Chrome Soft X, without changing anything to your club setups, a little bit more efficient. Gets me what I want, okay. Yep. So, Chrome Soft X LS with the driver. Let's see how that one okay. compares as well. <sighs> Okay, hit that one solid. We're good there. So you were under 2000 with the uh, Chrome Soft. Okay. Again, you were 1700, you were 2100 with the Chrome Soft X. Everything hovering around 152 ball speed. Okay. That was 1900 RPMs of spin. So it's kind of fitting in between the other two golf balls on spin, which we saw with some of the other clubs in the bag. All right, so Chrome Soft X LS with the driver. Uh, the fastest ball speed of all three of them off the tee. Slightly faster uh, by about a half a mile an hour for you. Similar launch and slightly less spin than the Chrome Soft X. So kind of fit in the in between the, the other two golf balls on spin. Okay. So not a huge difference there. As you started getting closer to the green or hitting shorter shots, irons, wedges, that's where the Chrome Soft X LS maintained a lot of the ball speed that we were getting with the Chrome Soft X, but started to reduce the spin. Okay, so so, so what did we learn here? Let's wrap this, let's put it all in a nice bow. So we tried all three golf balls with three different clubs. Obviously the best way to do it, and this is the way the pros do, is they work from the green backwards. So it's short game stuff, but yeah. you know, for this for this exercise, like what did we see, what did we find? Well, we saw a little bit of, of that as well. We saw the biggest difference in the balls with the shortest shots. Right. So the ball was launching higher with Chrome Soft than it was with Chrome Soft X and Chrome Soft X LS. We saw a little bit more um, speed out of the Chrome Soft X and the LS. And those two balls sort of differentiate on spin more than anything with the shorter shots. Okay. And then with the longer clubs, um, Chrome Soft, lowest spin, which can be a benefit to those that are looking to hit the ball straighter, anyone that spins it too much. At lower speeds, that ball tends to show up as the fastest off the face. Right. At higher speeds, you start to see the opposite. The Chrome Soft X balls start to come off a little bit faster. So um, there's a lot of good options. You kind of have to have a, a, a goal in mind. I want to see the ball fly, go farther through a reduction in spin. I want to see it go farther through an increase in speed. Depending on the player, those those are going to be two different things. Right. So uh, what we I, I will say the the red red box if we're going to label them that way. Right? Red box stood by itself, and LX for me LX uh, LS and X sort of were a kind of a yeah you know almost, get them out in the golf course to see what they do. You right? would almost have to uh, develop a preference to play a certain way if you wanted to maximize distance with the irons. Right. The LS golf ball would probably do that over the the Chrome Soft X a little bit. It, or you could have a preference to try and maximize your versatility with, with the golf ball, uh, meaning something that you can shape shots a little bit more or knock down shots a little bit more. Right. So the higher spin of the Chrome Soft X would be something you'd, you'd consider in that case. Well, it's one thing for us to do. It's another thing for you to get out there and try them yourself. So when you're out there, test the golf balls, take all three out there to the golf course. If you have access to a driving range, go try them there. But this has been a fun test, right? Yeah. This, has been, this has been pretty cool. So Johnny Wonder, Garrett Bond, Callaway Golf, we're at Ely Callaway Performance Center. Uh, we'll see you guys soon.